but issue. Do, but but do oh. you think, so do you agree, like, you know, Mary Catherine, I think it was essentially saying, you know, America's great for all these various uh, opinions, diversification of thought, you know, that, that was maybe wrong for, for Google, despite the fact that maybe we don't all agree with what this guy said, mm -hmm. he's allowed to say it. Do you think he was allowed to say that, where he's essentially saying, well, I don't really like women anywhere near a computer, uh, and should he have been fired for it, Liz? I find it interesting that he felt comfortable um, sharing this with people at the company in the way that I felt uh, that it was interesting, you know, when stuff came out of uh, the culture at Uber that was, you know, enabled systemic sexual harassment and the sort of things that I think a lot of men felt like they could say and do um, were not appropriate. I do wonder um, what kind of culture exists at Google um, that made a white man who is in a senior position, in, you know, engineer at one of the most, uh, one, of, one of the biggest uh, tech companies in the world, feel threatened by a few diversity programs, and then it, you know want to well, share that with and, and write ten page about it, and you know fear it, and it, it, it have leaked in the way that it, it had, and, and think that there'd be no consequences. But, but isn't a piece of this? Isn't a piece of this, Mary Catherine? This is directed to you, where mm -hmm. this software engineer, you know, he had hiring power. I mean, he he could right. impact the empower, empowerment of women. And again, I go back to you know paraphrasing. This is a guy who's basically saying, I don't like women around computers. You know, whether but it's the peer, peer totally, reviews. I actually, Brooke, and I I often disagree with you in like very jovial way and I just totally yeah. disagree with the characterization that that's what he's saying. Yeah. He wasn't saying and that's that's why I disagree with the reaction to this. If it were what you were saying, I would I would be more on board with Liz's point of view, but look, I think we're we're saying look, this is a valuable conversation to have and I agree. One of the things that this person was bringing to the table was that perhaps part of ide ide uh, diversity is ideological diversity as well. And ironically and no one seems to recognize the blinding irony of this. He was saying uh, one of the problems with Google is that we are perhaps in this like ideologically insular bubble that is so insular that people like me feel silenced and don't want to bring our yeah. opinions to the forefront. And then wait a second. In response to that, his dissenting opinion, it was leaked to punish him. And then he was fired for it having been leaked. So I mean, how should Google 